have confirmed this information. This information is true that China signed a law last December, December 30th, 2022, authorizing the mobilization of uh, their entire country. This covers their entire country, men and women, and this law will come into effect on March the 1st uh, in just a little bit over a month. So let's go ahead and read this um, read this uh, thing. So here is the uh, here is the law. This is in Chinese. And you can see the date here when this law was signed. It was signed uh, December. Here's 12 right here. 12 30 2022. So the law was signed last December the 30th 2022. And they actually did sign it. So it says the Communist Party, the CCP, has quietly passed its reserve military service law, which will take effect on March the 1st, 2023. Anyone who is 18 years or older is obliged to enlist after a national defense mobilization is announced. So once this law goes into effect across China, everyone in the entire country of 1.5 billion people, 1.5 billion people that is over 18 years or older is obliged to enlist in the national defense mobilization. So China is going to mobilize their entire country of 1.5 billion people. How many reserve soldiers are they going to put together? Folks, this could be tens of millions of soldiers. Tens of millions of soldiers could be mobilized against a war with the United States. This is uh, alarming news. The notice shown above instructs Chinese citizens after receiving the call-up notice, reservists must report to the designated place at the specific time in accordance with the requirements. After the state issued the mobilization order, the reserve personnel who have not received the call-up notice shall not leave the reserve registration place without the approval of the troops and the military service organs of the reserve registration place. If they have left, they shall return immediately or stand by in the same place. Females need to serve too, except during pregnancy, maternity leave, or breastfeeding. The shortest time to serve is four years. So once these soldiers are drafted into the Chinese military, they're going to be in the Chinese military for four years. So you can see on your screen, Google Translate, and over to the left is the Chinese lettering. This is the Chinese lettering. It says, Law of People's Republic of China on Reservists adopted at the 38th meeting of the Standing Committee of the 13th National People's Congress on December 30th. On December 30th, 2022. So you can see, um, you can see when they adopted this law and we're going to go down to the next one. I'm just going to translate a little bit of this. Adopted this law and we're going to go down to the next one. I'm just going to translate a little bit of this for you. Green is chapter one of the law. So let's go ahead and read along with this. Chapter one, general principles. Article one, in order to improve the system of reserve personnel, standardize the management of reserve personnel, safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of reserve personnel, ensure that reserve personnel effectively perform their duties and missions and strengthen the building of the National Defense Forces in accordance with the Constitution, the National Defense Law of the People's Republic of China and Military Service Law of the People's Republic in China enacts this law. Article 2, the term reserve personnel as mentioned in this law refers to citizens who perform their military service obligations in accordance with the law and are pre-registered in the active duty units of the Chinese People's Liberation Army or the Reserve Units of the Chinese People's Liberation Army to perform service, uh, reserve service. Reserve personnel are divided into reserve officers and reserve soldiers. Reserve soldiers are divided into reserve sergeants and reserve soldiers. Reserve personnel and members of the National Armed Forces are an important source of supplementary troops for active duty in wartime. So folks, this is very significant that they're even stating this. They're an important source of supplementary troops for active duty troops in wartime. Article 3, the work of the reserve personnel adheres to the leadership of the Communist Party of China, implements Xi Jinping's thought on strengthening the military, adheres to the overall national security concept, implements the military strategy, strategic policy of the new era is driven by military needs, directed by war preparation, so they're getting ready for war, directed by war preparations and focused on quality construction, improve the ability and level of reservists to perform, perform their mission. So China is calling up everyone 18 years old, uh, in the entire country of 1.5 billion. So I wonder if this explains why our top U.S. general just said the other day why we're going to war with China in 2025 or sooner. Hashtag SWPG for more.